Imagine a submarine that never needs a crew, never needs food, never gets tired, and can patrol the Arctic for months at a time, completely silent, under the ice, watching everything that moves. Now imagine if Canada had hundreds of them. The future of Arctic defense won't be big, expensive manned submarines, and it'll be unmanned, autonomous ghost subs, patrolling the North 24-7. And the countries that adopt them first, they win the Arctic. This is North of MAGA. I'm your host, Pierre Shields. Let's take a look. Why this matters now. The Arctic is heating up faster than anywhere on Earth, and what was once frozen, unreachable territory is becoming a shipping corridor, a resource frontier, and a strategic battleground. Russia has more than 40 Arctic icebreakers. China calls itself a near-Arctic state and is building under-ice capabilities. The U.S. is expanding operations in Alaska. And Canada? We still struggle to patrol our own backyard, a region spanning 40% of our total landmass. Traditional submarines cost tens of billions, need massive crews, and take decades to build. But unmanned autonomous submarines, they change the entire equation. What are autonomous Arctic submarines? These aren't remote-controlled drones. These are AI-driven platforms capable of navigating under ice, mapping the seabed, tracking ships and submarines, detecting foreign activity, surfacing only to transmit encrypted data, and operating autonomously for months on battery or fuel cell power. Think of them as Roombas of the deep, except instead of cleaning your floor, they guard Canada's Arctic frontier. My daughter got a Roomba, called it Kevin. <laughs> Countries like the United States, the UK, Norway, and Australia are already testing these systems. Canada could leapfrog manned submarine procurement entirely. Though we're kind of in the process right now, so... Uh. Why autonomous subs are perfect for Canada. Number one, the Arctic is deadly for human crews. Ice crushes hulls, temperatures hit minus 50 C, and submarines risk catastrophic failure. Robots don't freeze. Number two, Canada's coastline is massive. 300,000 kilometers of shoreline across three oceans. No manned fleet can cover this. A swarm of autonomous vehicles can. Number three, a fraction of the cost. A manned submarine will cost three to six billion dollars. An autonomous sub, between five and 40 million, depending on size and capability. For the cost of one nuclear sub, Canada could field 100 to 300 autonomous Arctic Sentinels. Number four, they act as force multipliers. They can detect intrusions, classify vessels, monitor seabeds near critical infrastructures, support search and rescue, assist ice navigation, and protect new Arctic shipping routes, all while staying invisible under the ice sheet. What missions could they perform? Mission one, under ice surveillance. They're perfect for tracking foreign submarines entering Canadian waters. Mission two, mapping future shipping lanes. As ice melts, new routes open, Canada must control them. Mission three, protecting critical infrastructure. Infrastructure such as underwater cables, future energy installation, and Arctic broadband links. Mission four, intelligence collection through acoustic signatures, vessel tracking, and foreign activity monitoring. Mission five, search and rescue support. They can scout ahead where humans can't. Mission six, environmental monitoring. They can help with Arctic sovereignty and climate science. The strategic edge. Unmanned submarines give Canada something we've lacked for 60 years. Persistent presence. Presence is sovereignty. If you're not there, someone else is. And right now, Russia, China, and the United States are expanding Arctic presence faster than we are. A fleet of autonomous submarines means Canada is always watching. We control the under ice domain. No foreign sub can cross our waters undetected. And we can secure our northern border without bankrupting the country. This is low-cost dominance, something Canada desperately needs. The challenges. It's not easy. Cold-resistant batteries must improve. Navigation under thick multi-year ice is difficult. Communication through ice requires specialized acoustic links. And Canada must invest in northern infrastructure to support these systems. But every year, the technology gets better and the Arctic becomes more contested. Why this matters for Canada? Canada is at a crossroads. We can't afford nuclear submarines. We can't rely on surface patrols. We can't wait 20 years for procurement. But we can deploy a fleet of autonomous submarines in two to four years at a cost that actually makes sense. This is one of the rare defense technologies where Canada can move fast, lead, innovate, and protect a strategic region the world suddenly cares about. If we don't act now, the Arctic becomes a battleground shaped by other nations. Takeaway. Unmanned autonomous submarines are not the future, they're the opportunity. A chance for Canada to secure the Arctic, develop new technologies, and finally take our northern sovereignty seriously. We just need the political will to do it. If you found this analysis helpful, hit like. It really helps the channel. 
Subscribe for more deep dive into Canada's defense, Arctic strategy, and geopolitics. And tell me in the comments, should Canada invest in unmanned submarines instead of buying subs? Come check out my merchandise and share your suggestions. And also, thanks for spending time with me. This has been Pierre Shields for North of MAGA. Go play outside.